Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Guru Tech Networking Training. So in this video, I'm going to learn how to handle three high temps here. One is to install Ubuntu Linux terminal in Windows 10 or Windows 11, okay? Another item is to resolve this problem. WSL register distribution failed with this error, okay? Right, and finally, I'm going to show you how to fix internet connectivity issues with WSL. So guys, I wanted to have a Linux terminal on my Windows machine due to certain labs that I was doing. So I did my research, I found how to do it. I encountered all the problems that you may encounter during this process. So I have documented that particular uh, uh, experience in this video. Please, if your issue is just to install Ubuntu Linux terminal, you're going to learn it here. If your issue is to, if you've encountered this problem, you're going to learn it and resolve it here. And finally, if your Linux distribution that you've just installed is not able to access the internet, you are in the correct place. You're going to learn how to resolve that problem. So without any further ado, let's get started. So just go back, just go to your browser and uh, just type out to add Linux terminal to Windows, okay? So we are going to find two, two links there. Click on the second one, which is under Microsoft, okay? So the Microsoft has given us guide uh, step by step on how to add a Linux terminal on our, on our, our Windows machine. And as you can see, it, it's applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So do not worry about anything. So it's just a command that you're going to run. Ensure you open your uh, PowerShell and run as an admin, okay? So after that one, you need to copy this command here, okay? Just copy it and go back to your PowerShell and paste it there and run it. So it will take few seconds or few minutes to download all the required features and the Linux distribution. So just give it a few more uh, minutes, okay? Right, perfect. So as you can see, uh, all the required features have been down, uh, downloaded. A virtual machine platform, Windows subsystem for Linux, as well as uh, the Ubuntu, Ubuntu operating system. So by default, when you, when you run the WSL command, it uh, install the Ubuntu. So we need to restart our machine. So we just need to go to the search bar and search the Ubuntu terminal that was just uh, installed by WSL, okay? So just go to search and uh, search Ubuntu, right? Okay, so here is Ubuntu that was installed successfully. So, oh, unfortunately we are uh, experiencing an error which is a WSL register distribution fail with that particular error. Please enable virtual machine platform Windows feature and ensure virtualization is enabled in BIOS. Wow. Right. So let's check our steps to, um, let's, let's actually check steps to resolve this problem. Okay. All right. So the first step is to ensure that the virtual machine platform uh, is enabled. Okay. So just go to your search and search turn, uh, turn Windows features on and off, okay? All right, just let it load. And um, we need to ensure that uh, virtual machine platform and uh, Windows subsystem for Linux is enabled, that's enabled, as well as Windows subsystem uh, for Linux. Then I want us to enable one more item here. When I was doing my research, uh, I, I found it one of the options there. You need to enable Hyper-V, okay? All right, then save. Just click OK, right? So after enabling uh, the two items, we need to, all as well, ensure that our virtualization is enabled in the BIOS. So to do that, just go to your task manager, okay? Click on the task manager, and then go to performance. Then click on CPU item, then check on the virtualization uh, column or row. You will see, virtualization is indeed disabled. And that's the cause uh, of the problem here, all right? 
So we need to go into the BIOS and enable virtualization, right? So it's very, very important that we enable virtualization before we go ahead with this item, okay? All right, so what I need to do, I just need to restart my computer and access BIOS via F F10, okay? So I've accessed BIOS. So this is my BIOS. So I need to go under security to enable um, virtualization. So under security, go down to system security, okay? And click, all right. So you can you see, you can see clearly that virtualization technology is indeed enabled. So to enable it, uh, we need to press uh, the left right arrows on our keyboard. So the left right arrows, left right arrows, okay? So I ensure you press on the left right arrows. So if you pre press on the left right arrows, uh, it enables disabled. So you have to ensure that you press it and leave it while it's enabled, okay? Ensure it's enabled, all right? Then you need to click on F10 to accept the changes, all right? Just ensure you click on F10 to accept the changes. So I'll just do that. Uh, uh, so. so I'll just click on F10. All right, perfect. So we need to go back. We need to go back to the first uh, item, which is file, and save, save changes and exit. So I'm going to save changes and exit and wait for this computer to restart so that we can try Ubuntu again. All right. So I've restarted the computer and now open the Ubuntu again and check. So there it's loading. So I'll just have to give it a few more minutes to pretty much simple. As you can see, the problem is now gone. So we have successfully installed Linux distribution on our Windows machine. And now we are being asked to enter a new Unix username. So you can enter your username there. So in my case, let me try admin. So, okay, okay, so let's see. Oh, so the user admin is already existing. So let's just use an, a unique name. I'll try GTH in my case now. All right. So fortunately, GTH uh, has gone through. So let's set password. Uh, I did. So retype it. Perfect. So. Uh, we have successfully achieved a uh, Linux terminal on our Windows PC. Now we can go ahead and run a few Linux tests on our. So I've noticed a very uh, interesting behavior. Okay. So you see, when I pin a uh, domain name, it goes in temporarily, temporary failure in name resolution. If I pin Cisco.net or Google.com or are failures due to name resolution. But when I ping a specific IP address, it goes through. Okay. Oh, so even I will let me just try this copy. Then I come to my normal uh, my local computer, then uh, CMD and ping ping that. Okay. Yep, then I check this IP address. Let me just uh, ping this IP address now on the on, on Ubuntu. Okay, so and it enter, you see? It's it's going through. So basically this is a name uh name server issue. So we need to go into the Ubuntu and change the name server. Okay. So how do you do that one? Pretty much simple. First, we need to access uh, via root. Okay. So how do you access via root? Pretty much simple. Just type sudo su sudo su and type the password. It was gtech. My password was gtech. And I entered the root. Okay. So we need to go into the Ubuntu systems, network system, and change the name server. So we are going to use Google as our name server, okay? So how do we go into network config? So uh, I'm just going to say sudo nano, nano is for editing our files in, in Ubuntu or in Linux. Then etc, then resolve, okay? 
fan.config. Okay, so you need to go to this directory and that particular file, sorry. Um, yep, this direct etc, then the file is resolve.config. Then you just hit enter. Okay, so you see our name server cannot get us to the internet. So we need to change it. So what I'm going to do, um, I want to make it Google, okay? Google is always 8888, 8.8.8.8. Then, Control X on your keyboard. Then, save. Yes. Why? Then, hit enter. Perfect. So, exit the, uh, the root. Then now, let's try to ping, ping cisco.net. See? Now it's going through. As well, let's try to ping, let's try to ping google.com now, or my website. Let's start with my website. See? Now it's going. Perfect. And finally, let's try to ping google.com. See? The resolution is now uh, going through successfully. Thank you so much, guys. I believe this video has really helped you now to do three things. How to install Linux terminal in a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. And as well, resolve uh, minor issues or problem associated with uh, installing the Linux uh, terminal. And finally, I'm glad you've learned how to enable internet access and correct name resolution on your Ubuntu system on Windows 10 or Windows 11.